Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to replace a rectifier. If you want to know how to find if our bridge rectifier or a VRF system is faulty, you can go to the description and I will provide a link in the description. You can check all about bridge rectifier. Let's start our video without wasting our time. This is the positive DC current which is going to the contractor and this is the negative which is directly going to the capacitor and this is the three line which is AC current which is coming from the main let's unscrew all first I will unscrew negative this is the DC and secondly I will disconnect now positive DC Next, all three lines, AC current, RYB, RY, RYB, now let's remove last one, our RYB is also disconnected, now we have to remove from the heat string. Let unscrew last two screws now. This is the one from the heat sting. This is the second one. As you can see, I had removed. This is our faulty rectifier, and on the back side, you can see the white traces here. It gets stuck to our heat sting, and it make our rectifier cool. When our rectifier get hot, that time it transfer all the heat to the heat sting on the back side and our rectifier get cool this is the faulty one and this is the new one which we are going to fix now this is the new one let we have to unscrew all the terminal here let unscrew all the terminal and you can see our all the screws has been removed now you have to check the rectifier the three phase in should be on the right side and for the DC it should be left side. Now let fix first to our heat string. First we have to fix our rectifier in the heat string. Now you can see our rectifier has been fixed in the heat sting and we have to tighten it properly that it can absorb all the heat of the rectifier. Three phase bridge rectifier. Let's connect the positive now. You have to remember the terminal, all the wire where you have to put. You can see on the back side there is a sign plus here and you can see the sign here is minus and we have fixed positive now. Now we have to fix the negative one which is going to the capacitor. And we have to tighten it properly. We should not keep it loose. And here is our RYB. Let's connect blue. And we have to connect all the wires for the three phase and DC current. In the same way how we have removed don't change the frequency of the phase keep as it is and try to keep it straight and our blue and yellow has been connected now red now red is also connected now you can see our bridge rectifier has been assembled now we will put the power and we will check if it's working or not thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel